Nobody likes having a scab, right? Well, could the way you treat a scab stop it from healing correctly? You might think the best thing to do is to leave a scab alone and let it dry out, but that's actually incorrect, Dr. Batra. You should actually keep that scab moisturized. Absolutely. So that old adage about letting things dry out, like you said, has been completely debunked. We now know that it slows down your rate of healing and you're much more likely to develop an unsightly scar. So what we found in terms of the research is that when you keep things hydrated with an emollient, with petrolatum, with Vaseline, it's going to help grease the path of those keratinocytes, which are the skin cells that come in and seal that wound. So you're going to heal more quickly with less scarring. So in general, you do want to keep it hydrated, keep it covered and protected from the sun, and please don't let it dry out and scab. Don't you agree, Dr. Orden? 100%. Those studies are there that show that a moist environment, things will heal better, more effectively with less scar. But that being said, certain things you do want to dry out, correct? Let's say poison ivy. Well, to some degree, I think sometimes when you have a really wet, moist, allergic reaction, right. allowing it to dry will decrease some of the discomfort. But I think for any sort of like an abrasion, an incisional wound, anytime you've cut the surface of the skin, I think scabbing is definitely going to decrease the, the, the and outcome. And that's why your doctor you is going to say, put a, just a thin layer of Vaseline-based product on wound scars. You guys are discussing small, uncomplicated wounds right now, yes. right? If you've got some big seeping wound that isn't healing well mm -hmm. and you just keep putting emollients on it, time to go see the expert sure. and make sure that everything yeah. is, is healing appropriately.